Hi guys, Brian Hare here, and we got a pretty cool color video coming at you. I just want to jump in real quick and show you what we're doing because we lost a little bit of footage, so we only have a few seconds of this. Uh, I had to prep my model and get her nice and blonde so that we could do a really cool fantasy color canvas. So to do that, I just went through taking thin sections of everything because she was completely virgin, uh, except for like a couple of highlights around her face, but whatever. Um, I went through and took thinner sections between a half inch and an inch and just saturated everything with lightener. Uh, I was using Paul Mitchell Synchro Lift with 20 volume and Olaplex and I just feathered it up towards the root. I didn't want it to be a real hard line. I wanted it to sort of soften itself in. So there you go. That was about all you got from that. Uh, all the way through we processed her up to like a nine between nine and ten depending on just where it was on the head. Uh, to have a little bit of fun, rather than just shampooing her with regular shampoo and then toning her, I chose to use the new Viral Color Wash shampoo because I was super intrigued by it and I thought it was super cool. So I used the the baby blue with the lavender, and I was really it was kind of neat. Like as soon as I applied it, it it worked. Like it took to her hair and went even beyond just toning her and started to deposit some of that baby blue. So I, I shampooed her out real quick and then went back with just the uh, the lavender, which I thought was really cool. It just gave a really neat tone. I think it's pretty uh, pretty interesting what they've done with uh, with this shampoo, as far as letting people take the the fun fantasy coloring of their hair into their own hands at home. So just doing a nice shampoo. You can see rinse it out. We got some fun color deposit rather rather quickly there. So, okay, let me just give you a little bit of where we're going with this today. My goal is to give you a salon reality situation, pretty much, of somebody who wants just a complete full head of fantasy color, but for whatever reason, you think that might not be their best bet. Like, it might not grow out really nicely, or you don't have time to foil every single hair on their head, but you still want to give them lots and lots of fun and dimension, so we decided to give her some purple realness. So I've got the Joyco Color Intensity, Indigo, Amethyst Purple, and the uh, Lilac. So basically what we're going to do, the reason that we feathered that towards the root and didn't take it all the way to the root is because I'm going to be going in with a really the darkest color. And what that's going to do, you can see there's even that like tiny little bit of band of warmth. I'm, I used uh, a good bit of the indigo as her root color so that I knew the blue that is also in that indigo color was going to help just tone that out, uh, that little warm band in there, which is a very real scenario that's going to happen, especially because we didn't use foil, where it's going to process. You're going to have that little kiss of warmth right at the end. So that deep, deep blue, slightly blue-violet base of the indigo color intensity is going to do all the toning that I need to and that's just not going to be an issue. What's cool is I'm going through and just doing like a regular color retouch with that deep dark blue indigo color and that's going to it's not going to color her natural for anything that's going to stay but it's going to stain it to marry it together and then that it, it's feathered out into what I've been lightening so it's going to marry together her uncolored with where I've started the lightener application. So what that's going to do, if she decides to never color this hair again, as it fades out, you're going to have just that, that softness. And it's going to go from her natural into the colored really nicely. So just all the way through. I just literally like we we're going through on a, on a client who's gray you have to cover. And then just not worrying about having a stopping point. I'm sort of flicking it to feather out the color as we go. Uh, I, there are many different approaches that I've seen people use when trying to blend colors together. One that I, I do like to make sure that there's just a lot of color there so that when I move into her mid-shaft color, her mid-shaft purple, I've got a little bit left over 
from that uh, that root application to feather down into so that it marries just really seamlessly and really nicely. And as you can see, as I come towards the front, just working away from the face because Fantasy Color does stain. And I want her to be able to just look at how pretty her color is when we're done and not, you know, the, <laughs> the bruised purple looking spots that are all over her face. I enjoy working with the Joyco Color Intensity Colors because they're a really great consistency. And I, I am getting really a nice longevity. I know that, you know, when it comes to fantasy colors, everybody's really competing to try to see who you can get to last the longest. And I've really been happy with my fade out colors with the Joyco Color. And see, I'm even grabbing those little baby hairs because while... They're not going to stay a really intense, intense purple. I at least want to stain them with that dark color so that her overall look when we're done, she doesn't have weird brown little hairs sitting amongst her purple. So now we're moving into those mid shafts. What's cool is because we've gone through and done those root colors, we've done the root color on every section, uh, our sections are almost already laid out for us, meaning I can just sort of grab sections and I don't have to worry too hard you know it's already a nice thin section that's been previously done here i've got just my it's a the nice rich medium purple however you choose to go about it whether you're using if you want to use purples or if you want to use blues or greens or whatever whatever speaking to you um i i work it out on a paper towel ahead of time to know what my deepest is what my middle color and then what my light color needs to be they need to here i'm keeping them in the same family so that as i'm blending with my fingers you see i apply it right where that dark purple starts to fade out and then just i'm using my fingers to marry that together to get that seamless transition while also just sort of flicking flicking to fade as i get towards those ends where i'm going to go in with just the uh the lilac to just have that nice light soft transition because whether you're dealing with n like natural colors or fantasy colors it still has a really good it tells a really good color story having it go dark to light from root to end because it still has an air of natural to it even though you're using a very unnatural color uh if you want to join our fsc salon partner group i actually just did an hour and a half live class using this with uh, some reds, actually. I went from a nice deep, deep red at the root and through, and it faded out to a really nice light peach at the end. And then obviously because it's an hour and a half, it's much more in-depth about uh, how to do it and the approach that I took, and you get to watch the whole thing on a mannequin. But this is just a fun little quick 10-minute. Here's a... Uh, I mean, it didn't take me 10 minutes to do. I wish. That'd be great. Uh, and then finally, for the last color, I just took the uh, the color intensity, the lilac. And really, I'm using it to saturate those ends. But then I'm also going back through and breaking up all of the sections to make sure that there's no hidden little pockets. Because that super sucks to put this much work in. And then you get to the back and realize that you took a section that was a little too thick and you didn't you know, work the color all the way through so there's little hidden spots of uncolored hair because that just super sucks. So I'm using that lightest color to go up higher back into the section to make sure that there was nothing that I skipped and missed. Uh, after she had all this color on, I processed her for probably about 20 minutes. I braided it because it looked pretty. Because <laughs> who, who doesn't love a purple braid? I mean, get with it. Uh, blew her out. Look at that color, which have that nice transition from the dark to the light. And I'm super, super into the Marcel curls right now. Just doing it totally uneven sections. Not even very even, like, processing curl time, like, unwrapping it around. I want it just to look very loose and organic. And I think it's really fun to take really natural approaches like style and color story and do it with unnatural hair color because it really just does something cool you know it's what gives it that real fantasy feel so you see just that really nice transition that medium purple really just gives you that fabulous in between from that dark 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 
root into that nice light end. And now, Logan gets to go rock out with her cool looking hair. Watch out, Tumblr, and high school, and everything. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe, check out our videos, check me out on Instagram and everything at Hairstyle. Uh, thank you very much.